go to the meeting point. It's in a typical bar in other uh, in other yeah. village, and we are going to hunt in Gredos with the in the national park yes. with the government. One of the best things about international hunting is being able to see historic places. So here in Spain is no different. Uh, we're visiting a castle in a little village right now. And it's just amazing. It's not just about the hunt, it's about the whole thing and, and, and getting to you know see some of the history. Crazy how old these buildings are. Wow. Every star in the sky is out. It's gonna be our first day of the Ibex hunt here in Spain, hunting for the Great Os Ibex. It's like a dream, so we're pretty excited about the day and we'll look and see what, what happens when we're out there on the mountain. I'm ready. Polani's walking just one second. Ready? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect suit. Nice animal. Very nice animal. Muy hey. Bueno. Buddy! <laughs> Whoa! I did it! Congrats! Yeah. A nice, nice animal, really. Oh, yeah. When hunting, I always think it's more special when you get to kill an old, mature trophy. And they tell me this is 13 or 14 years old. And I got to shoot him because he's broken a horn. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten to shoot one this big. But thanks, Uncle Brad for letting me go to Spain. I'm so appreciative of the opportunity to hunt Ibex. It's, it's surreal to be in this landscape hunting and I, I take nothing for granted, not one moment out here. Thank you to my team at the Wildlife Gallery. It's, they're gonna make an incredible mount out of this thing. This is an unbelievable trophy. This is the experience right here. My experience. Looks like we're all circling up here. Chuck and I are gonna go up into the mountains and look for the Ronda Ibex.
Okay, you ready? Oh, he's in a crack. No, no, no. Damn it. Is that the one? Yes. There's one behind yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. No problem. I have no idea. Did he say no problem? No problem. No uh, problem, the one behind him. Ah. Oh. Straight up. 250 yards. So I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Ibex down. Your ass is seen. Very good. It's a good Ibex. It's difficult, eh? Yes, very difficult. Well, the shot was true. For a Ronda Ibex, it's a very good one. Uh, this is a really tough spot. It's so thick. It's a very, very difficult to see him. And when he came in the opening, I was set up and Sawyer and I were working together like a team. I had him as a spotter with a video camera and I was just on the opening and they said the second one through. And I think he took a step just as I fired. So I hit him, looks like back a little, I got lungs, but uh, it was, what an incredible hunt here in Spain. Look at this. Let's go ahead and get some photos. Yeah. Well, we're preparing uh, to move to the southeastern Ibex area in the Sierra Nevadas here in southern Spain. pros and cons to this hunt. The con is that it's weathering in the top of the mountain where the ibex are, but the pro is our tent is a Land Rover <laughs> and we are seeking cover in our Land Rover. Billy's Sawyer's got some great phone scope footage of them. We just gotta try to get in position, they're in a tough spot. Okay. You got the rest. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, well, in our quest for four Spanish ibex, this is the southeastern. We did the Ronda. These are very similar, but I think this is a little bit bigger than my Ronda. It's beautiful ibex. It's starting to pour rain. We're gonna work on getting some photos, a few, and then we're gonna get off this mountain and try to stay dry. The experience. Well, it's day two in the Besete area. Um, last night I put that behind me for my click. He's the one that's looking right at us, right? With the head down now? Yep. Other one walked right behind him? Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh. You're okay. No, I'm not on him. I'm not on him. You can't miss if you don't have one in the freaking chamber. But uh, it's all part of hunting. It's all part of the experience. These homes were built in the 17th century, 400 years ago. And uh, the ibex are all over the homes. They're, and there's only a couple times a year these big ibex come out of the, the trees of the mountain. And one of them's during the rut when the females are there, but now they've had drought. And because of the drought, the grass in these terraces is so green and they're eating the grass. And we've got a giant ibex eating grass not far from one of these 17th century homes. So we're excited. I feel like urban warfare in Afghanistan. Maneuvering around buildings, trying to get a shot. 
shooting position. Fernando is trying to get a better angle to see if he can see the Ibex. Shoot from the top, maybe? No, in the middle. Middle? Straight Close across. To the house? No, yes. The house also is possible. You ready? Yeah. He needs to step one more. Okay, I'm on him. Ready? Yep. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at the size of that thing! So this wraps up my Grand Slam of Spanish Ibex, uh, the Bassetti. The most important thing about any of these hunts is building memories and having fun. Um, it's about the experience. We say that all the time and that's why our show got named The Experience because it truly is about what we experience when we go hunting. We can take inches, we can take measurements, gold, silver, bronze, representatives that they have over here in Spain, but it all boils down to the memories. So I'm very, very blessed to be able to hunt other places, but uh, coming to Spain was an unbelievable experience.